the nice. summer, <laughs> right, and enjoy. <laughs> well, John Holt from the Don Aslett Company joins us once again with a wood cleaner and polish. So this is how we refresh, revitalize, and clean the wood surfaces in our home. Think about the kitchen cabinets. When was the last time you touched those up? <laughs> well, we're going to help you tackle them with this uh, cleaner, and it's available for you at $17.98 for two bottles. So you've got a nice supply here to tackle all the wood throughout your home. So welcome back, John. Thank you. All right, so this comes from the King of Clean. Yes. I mean, they cover a lot of square footage every night, and I'm sure they encounter every type of surface, including wood. Of course. You know, if you look around your house, you'd be surprised at how much wood you really have mm -hmm. between your cabinets, your banister, perhaps you have a wooden dining table, all the little knickknacks you've collected over the years that just sit there and collect dust and mm -hmm. the grease settles on it. Mm -hmm. what, we, what we have here is a, a wood cleaner, but it has the polish also in it as well. This is a one step. Spray it on, wipe it, you're done. You don't need multiple things. Now, let me tell you what this isn't, okay? What this is not is the old-fashioned paste wax that you took and you smeared the wax on everything and you buff. That This gives you a waxy buildup, okay? And it's not one of those jars that you buy in a store that you spray silicates and it leaves an oily residue. Not that, okay, this is quite different. Now, let me give you a quick idea, and it, it is two bottles. A little goes a long way, and we, we include the, the spray uh, nozzles on it, so all you need is a little, oop, the, I mean, <laughs> they, get, they get you a little bit, I missed my towel. I guess I'm I gonna, needed a I'm polish, polish and a clean. Okay. <laughs> spray a little on your cloth here. Now, let, here's a, a kitchen cabinet door. Now, what I do is I go to that, that restore where people donate everything, and, because it's been discarded. Fingerprints, grease, grime, whatever it is, I've got a little bit of the cleaner on the, the, the towel here. And as I go back and forth here, sometimes you don't even realize how much is on your surface until I show you. That is that could be cigarette smoke, cooking uh, grease, just dirt and dust all over. <laughs> the soot from when I burned the breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So now here, here's a good example. This this was probably sitting next to somebody's fireplace for 30 or 40 years. Mm -hmm. I bought it for 50 cents in, in the restore. Now look, when I go across this, I, and I got the polish on the towel already, I'm just going to polish up the middle here. You really don't know what you get until you buy it and take it home and give it a nice little the little clean look at the grease and grime that came off look how so beautiful it, it, the wood it, is underneath there it was a hidden treasure it is mm -hmm. so you buy these these little things at yard sales that people are just discarding because they don't want to see them anymore mm -hmm. you buy them you take them home put our wood polish on it look at now if you've got a wooden staircase with all kind of spindles like this just to, you know, you can actually soak the towel, wring it out, and go up and down on, on your railings there, your little spindles. Mm -hmm. It'll be like a brand new staircase. Now, so, what if the wood surface is painted or oh, stained? Can we still use this? Of product? course, this, okay. it's a very gentle cleaner that's in here. Now, here's an example. This is a, a ceiling fan blade. That's wood. Okay? okay. They give you the option of having this face down, or they give you the option of a painted surface. Mm -hmm. So, if it's your baseboards, the trim around your, your door frames, you can use this. Now, again, if this was in a kitchen, the green and the grime, everything that gets on here on a painted surface, not a problem. Now, what you don't want to use on, on your surfaces is the blue stuff, okay? Because okay. that, that yeah. has ammonia in it. Mm -hmm. That could strip, you know, some of the sealer off on your wood. This is not going to do any of that. This is a wonderful product. Now, I have in my um, dining room a wood sideboard. Sure. Is that, you know, it, I dust it and clean it off, but is this good for just kind of conditioning it as well? You know what I mean? Just to it, keep it, it is. up. It is. Yeah. I, I, we, I had a friend of mine make me a nice dining table out of cherry wood and inlaid mahogany. It's beautiful. And this is the only thing we put on it. Okay. We it's it. certainly don't use the blue stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. After everybody sits there and eats and gets, you know, all the food well, on that's it. That's for windows, <laughs> not for <laughs> Exactly. So you can either spray the surface or, or spray, spray the, the cloth. cloth. That's, uh, that's up to you. And again, here is a piece of mahogany right here. Now, this is a, a very dark wood that looks okay, but here, let me clean this side over here. Now, what we're going to do is bring back the beauty. This is more of a oh, red kind of wow. a wood. Now this was probably this is one of the small cabinets that was right above a cooktop, mm -hmm. so it yep. gets the dirtiest. Look at that. That's from all the cooking grease, the oil, the soot, whatever and look it is. Look at how gorgeous right. this is. This is a beautiful. Look at that. And I and I noticed that it's not giving it this like super gloss shine, right. but it's giving it a pretty finish. Yeah, to this it. has a, a semi gloss finish. Mm -hmm. So when I'm done 
polishing, the cleaning and polishing this, it still has a semi-gloss finish. Now, if you have a high-gloss finish, mm -hmm. you're still going to have a high-gloss finish. Okay. Now, here's a, one of those antique clocks that people put on their fireplace mantle, and they just leave it there. If you take a look at the top of this, it's all dull and dingy and, and, and faded out. And a little out. dusty, yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to take my towel and go across the top of this. Now, this has a high lacquer finish on it. So, when I'm done with this, you have a high lacquer finish. It looked brand new. It only took a second. And there's no greasy residue on there. Like from the, the paste wax, you get that waxy film or the silicates. This is the natural beauty of the wood. So, really, it's going to repel the dust better it, and it longer does. instead of attracting it. Right. So, when you feel the wood after you've cleaned, say, your dining table with mm -hmm. this, use the dry side of a towel and buff it up a little bit. And then you feel it. it. It feels like an ice skating rink. It's so smooth and slick. And that's why we tell you don't use this on your hardwood floors because it does make the surface quite slippery. Okay. okay? So but just just so you know. But if you've got a little scratch, like if you open up your door, okay, and it kind of rubs the hardwood floor, you got that little line of you know, opening mm -hmm. and closing your door. And I can show you that over here okay. on this piece of oak flooring once we come back. This, okay. This is a piece of hardwood. And again, don't use this out where everybody walks. On, with socks, okay. it's slippery. So here's a sanding block. Say your door is swinging over the same area, causing those scratches on your floor. Okay, take this. Here, if I can mm -hmm. just reach yep. for the polish here. And again, you can spray the surface if you want or spray the cleaning cloth. As I go across this, it really... Okay, you would never have known that you just <laughs> sanded right. the floor. It really diminishes the look of any scratch that you might have on, on your hardwood, on your coffee table, on your dining okay. table. In fact, I can show you that right here. Okay, let's do it. Now, <laughs> and while, okay, go ahead. Now, here's a, a teak bowl. Okay, so you can use this on any wood. Now, I'm going to intentionally take my little scratch stick here and gouge. Oh, can you see the scratch see I'm putting in it. here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, a little bit of polish. Now, it does, if you got a real deep gouge in your, in your wood, it's still going to have a deep gouge. But can you notice what I'm doing here? It's greatly diminishing the appearance. You almost can't see where I, I use that to scratch the ball. No. So <laughs> it's kind of like um, like cosmetics. It helps yes, to, yes. to minimize the looks of uh, scratches and so, lines of wrinkles. I'm going to flip to a clean side of my towel here. Now, again, here's a salt and pepper shaker set that I purchased for a dollar. Mm -hmm. All right. It's a little dingy, probably 50, 60 years old. I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to clean it. So I'm just going to use my towel that's got the cleaner on it already. And you, ha you do have the polish built into this cleaner. So as you clean yes. and polish, all right, now it might not look very different, but let me hold up the, the <laughs> Yeah, it okay, looks a see, lot different. So you can see the grain a lot more from in this one than you can in this one. So there's a lot of little treasures around your house that you might not realize you have. Well, I will tell you that, uh, you know, my mom, my grandparents had some beautiful wood pieces, but mm -hmm. now the newer stuff is like, has a laminate on top of it. Yeah, can I still use this? You like, can. You know, like it's MDF with the laminate on right, top. Right, of course, just okay. like painted wood. It's mm -hmm. that's, you know, you're not really touching the wood, but you're cleaning the surface. All right. Now, this is an inlaid piece that was probably made decades ago, and it's just kind of sooted up here. I'm just going to clean a little area up here. Now, let me reveal the church that's underneath this, okay? Oh. What a yeah. shame how dirty it was. Now, now you can really see. Now, you see, this is really old. See all these little striations, these little cracks and crevices? This is what I'm talking about by nourishing the wood. As you go across this, go with the grain of the wood. Like on a hardwood uh, floor, go with the grain of the wood, your, your coffee table. And then that, that polish, the, the cleaner will get in there and nourish these little tiny open cracks. That's how you, you keep your, your, your surface looking beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, again, this is just an easy-to-apply product. You just wipe. And all the all the grease, the grime, the soot's gonna come off. Running out of clean areas in my that, towel here. Yeah, but that's they have okay. some dirty pieces. But we're cleaning, <laughs> polishing, and conditioning in one fell swoop. Right. So that's another time saver because this is a job you know that does need to happen, especially when we're doing like a deep clean of the kitchen. Exactly. Think about your cabinets, your wood balusters. I'm even thinking about your furniture around the house, whether it's a wood cocktail table or even like the legs on pieces. Yeah. Need a little clean. <laughs> Shine Especially the things you touch a lot with greasy fingers, like you know your banister, you, you know the staircase, ca kitchen cabinet doors. You get all the grease and grime off. Especially where you cook, you can see the bef the after compared to the before. Beautiful. Two bottles for seventeen dollars and ninety eight cents, and a little goes a long way. Certainly John, does. Thank you so much. It's been my pleasure. All right, but we're not done yet. You know what? John was using a cloth. We need cloths to clean. So we're going to have a look at a fifty piece set coming up. But earlier in the show, John was with us 
uh, a mop set. It's a super size microfiber mop and it comes with eight washable